My name is Alex. We're going to be experimenting with fluid dynamics as they relate to bullets. We are going to be using a 9mm, both hollow point and full metal jacket, and firing them at water jugs. We're going to record how many they go through and discuss why one goes through more than the other. This is a basic diagram of a full metal jacket 9mm bullet going through fluid. As you can see, this dynamic shape here cuts through the water real well. We're going to test how many one gallon water jugs one bullet will go through. Remember that's nine millimeter full metal jacket. I predict it'll go through five. Wow. This is a hollow point bullet. As you can see, the shape of the bullet changes as it opens up and it hits the water. This shape causes a less dynamic flow, causing a larger disbursement of water as it travels through the jugs. This means it requires much more energy to go through the same linear distance. For that reason, I predict the hollow point will only go through three jugs. The hole. We fired the gun from here, both nine millimeter. The first shot was the full metal jacket, entry point right here, exit wound. The second one, entry point right here, this was the, uh, this one was uh, bottle number two. So one of these is hollow point and the other one is full metal jacket. This is the hollow point exit wound. As you can see, it comes up much higher on the barrel. It was a lot more energy. Then we go to number two. For the hollow point, you can see it's no longer a perfect circle because that bullet has opened up. Exit wound right here, still not a perfect circle. Then we go into number three. We have an entry wound for the hollow point. And inside, we have the hollow point. It opened up just like the pictures show, just like we thought it would. You can see the different types of metal and how the uh, lead opens up after the copper. Here's something else. On number, what was it, number two? Where's the one where it pushed it through? This one had a piece of tape covering up this old hole. We fired at it, now that tape is inside. There was so much force on that bullet, it pushed the tape through that little hole. That's pretty cool. Wow, very interesting. What did we learn? We learned that when a 9mm bullet, a hollow point goes through two less jugs than a full metal jacket. How is this possible if they enter the first jug with the same mass and the same velocity? Fluid mechanics is the answer. Because of the shape of the hollow point bullet, here's the one we fired. The water, when moving around the bullet, has a higher displacement, meaning it requires more energy per dis unit of distance, linear distance, than a full metal jacket. 